essence may be broken right now. There have been some absolutely ridiculous essence pulls in the last 48 hours, and we're going to look through them and see if essence is broken. Before we jump into it, I thought we'd have a quick look at how we're doing this game week. Now, unfortunately for me, Musa did not play. And uh, unfortunately, we're getting sent off meant that Pulisic only dropped himself a 46 pointer. So as my captain, not great. Uh, obviously, the Uruguayan boys did pretty well against Bolivia. That being said, they both had negative AA. I didn't even see the big chance miss from, from Palistria. I don't know which one it was that was a big chance miss, but it is what it is. Anyway, I mean, like, if we could pick up a decent card, I'd be happy. Um, you know, it's going to be hard because Uruguay utterly smashed. So if you had full Uruguay stack bar goalkeeper, you are looking pretty good right now. Um, I do want to quickly give a PSA as well to say that the next game week starts tomorrow. I know it's confusing, but the next game week starts... This is only a two-day game week. The next game week starts tomorrow. So make sure you have your lineup submitted before 2 p.m. BST tomorrow, the 29th of June. All right? Um, to go into how we did last game week, 487, tier 3 and a tier 5. I got a tier, tier 3 from the Copper Super... Sorry, Copper SW Rare. And then I got a um, tier 5 from the Euro uh, uh, competition. Um, and the cards we actually got there were uh, Evan Nilsson and Jakob Moda, which I think are pretty decent, to be fair. Evan Nilsson's like a 60, 60 quid card for a tier 3. I'm quite happy with. I mean, these price pools are decent, so I'm quite happy with that. And then um, Jakob Moda, apparently he's on his way to Leicester which could be a good move for him. Um, I can see him potentially, you know, starting, maybe getting on some set pieces or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, again, so it's an only tier five. It's worth about eight pounds. But if you go to Leicester, it's another card that I could potentially use in the gallery. I also crafted my first card with Essence yesterday. For those of you that don't know, um, I do a So Rare podcast with So Rare Monkey and Bull Stars, and we were doing our podcast yesterday, and I was just playing around with the Essence thing. So if you go on the Essence, um, if you've got enough Essence, you can just slide this thing around. And I was just like sliding it around, like, you know, keeping my brain sort of, you know, um, stimulated, uh, as I do, having ADHD. And I actually let go and crafted a card, and I was gutted, because I was like, no, I was saving up my essence, I wanted to get to like a tier 3 plus, and then craft. I've only got to hit Nathan Ake from it, which is unbelievable, really. Um, his price has come down a little bit, he's around 60 quid, probably around a tier 2 slash tier 3 rare, um, but it's another option I can use at defence, I think he's a good option, I know obviously the last two games weren't great for him AA-wise, but um, before that his games were pretty decent, they play against Romania, uh, for Man City he's a decent option too, but it's just a nice card to have, for, for, you know, 20 Essence. Um, that being said, I've seen some absolutely monster pools. I'm going to go through them in a second. But I think crafting your cards with less Essence at the moment might be the play. And the reason why I say that is because at the moment, with Essence, the only cards that you can get, I believe, are Euros or Copper because they're the only prize pools that are running that you can get Essence from. So uh, you'll be able to get Essence from Challenger starting from this, this game week, I believe, but I don't think you can get it before. So if you're getting Essence from Copper or Euros, you can craft Copper or Euros cards. Now, my, my Essence was pure Euros only, which means the prize pool is way better because the Euros prize pool is juiced, which means, you know, I've got probably a tier three card here, right? Um... In, in three months' time, if this was a Champ Europe Tier 3 card, it might be a lot worse than this. But because it's Euros only, it means the card is a lot better. So I think it's actually probably worth right now crafting Essence. And that's backed up by the fact that we are seeing some absolutely monster pulls through Essence. And I tweeted asking people to send me their uh, pulls. Now, Josh got two Tier 5 Plus pulls and got himself Kan Uzun and Dusan Tadic. Um, Mike Pompey got himself a... Ivan Usec from, I, did it say how much he spent there? I don't know how much he spent there. Uh, 20 Essence to get an Ivan Usec and Limited there. But I also went through and liked a bunch of people that also got Essence. Um, so we've got a 20 Essence pool here. It's a Dutch player, we can tell by his tweet. From Bayern Munich. Is that going to be Delict? He might have just got himself Delict here. So Delict from 20 Essence seems really good. At the moment, the 20 Essence seems really, really good. Now, I kind of understand it as well from So Rare's POV because these cards are effectively classic cards. You can't use these cards in in-season ever again, right? And they've got however many cards they've got left to give out in prize pools, right? Once the Euros is done, these cards are not, not going to be in prize pools any longer because they're not playing. And they won't be in prize pools until their new season starts, to which then there'll be new cards that are then 
in season so these are classic anyway so it kind of makes sense to me why, why so rare basically giving these cards out um in like high quantities and it makes sense why essence will be boosted right now or seem better right now because obviously we've got more people on the platform um and a bunch of classic cards to basically give away so it makes a lot of sense to me why this is the case and and it doesn't seem like a downside to give out some decent cards here and there to entice more people to play the platform like i know for a fact new users that maybe craft their first card with essence if they go and get themselves a card they know like let's say a brand new user from rivals only has got himself 20 essence crafted this and got himself a limited like card they know a bernardo silver or something like that it's way more enticing to them to then play the game than just sell it and withdraw the eth or withdraw the cash um i think it might anyway like i think it makes a lot of sense so essence might be broken right now for that reason for for, for one of many reasons i saw that uh jonathan got himself a uh, rono and a yusuf fafana there i think both 20 essence uh super rare here is a uh 40 essence super rare craft from johnny let's see who he gets here this is a, it's quite hard to get 40 essence. He's got a 9 out of 10 Spanish. Forward? Is this Laminium out? Ooh, Morata. I mean, that's nice still. This is really good. Essence seems really overpowered at the moment. It seems really good. And it's... I didn't know about Essence before, but like... I am now with my lineups i i was playing two euros lineups and then like hedging one in like 240 or something i'm not doing that anymore I, in fact i'll show you my lineups or, or they're not fully complete but like what i want to do is play you know a strong lineup is my first lineup a stronger lineup is my second lineup, strong lineup is third lineup i want to try and like play three strong euros lineups because at the very worst i want boxes and i want to get myself um I want to get myself boxes. I want to get myself essence, basically. I know that Chicho is not going to play in this one, by the way. It's, uh, that was made beforehand. That was actually made a few weeks ago. Um, that I need to delete those and, uh, and redo my challenge alliance. I forgot that I'd even done. Um, so, yeah. So, I want three strong Euros lineups to get boxes, to get essence. Essence seems really good at the moment. Uh, we've got another one from Hatton here. He's got himself a tier 5 uh, plus card here. Now, obviously, tier 5 plus, remember, it can be tier 5 all the way to star. Like, it can, it can be... All sorts of these cards. We've got himself, what, Daily Blind here, I think? Still a nice card. That's solid. Uh, he's scoring really well for Girona last year. I'm wearing a Girona top right now, actually, as well. It's quite funny. Uh, Job's got himself a Tier 4 Plus Super Rare here. 6 out of 10. Scottish. Defender. Who's this? Robertson? From Celtic. Who's this? Who's he got? Greg Taylor. I mean, look at that for super rare, for 40 super rare essence. This is the crazy thing, right? I don't know how much Greg Taylor is. And this is why I think essence seems really, really good right now. And I think rather than saving it, I would actually, I don't know if I'd recommend spending it, but like, I don't know if I'd save essence right now, to be honest. That's like a 200 pound super rare card right there, right? Scores pretty well when he plays. You know, obviously like he doesn't play for Scotland that much, but you know, he's a, a sort of mainstay in that Celtic team. You would probably have to come in the top top 10 in a super rare comp to get that card and you've got it for free through essence uh apple has got himself an ollie watkins uh i know that sean psu fans got himself a, a bakayo saka from uh, limited essence as well um there's just been some amazing essence pools now i'll leave there's a tier 5 plus with Mamadishvili, tier 5 plus Joachim Anderson. I posted a tweet out and I'll leave this up if you guys want to go and find my Twitter account and find more uh, people's pools down below as well. Um, you can go and find that, but it just seems ridiculous. Tier 4 plus Declan Rice. Essence seems cracked at the moment. Some more Essence pools here. We've got a tier 5 plus, which is an Argentinian defender. Is it Romero? Oh, who's that? Molina? I think it's Nahuel Molina, right? Yeah, Nahuel Molina, decent. I mean, I'm pretty sure he starts. 20 essence for his shirt and Shakiri. Shamey just does not seem to play for Chicago like he does for uh, the Switzerland games. He's got a Turkish here, defender. Kadioglu? From Ajax? Wait, who is this? My ball knowledge right now is being exposed. Kaplan. Oh, I do know that is actually. 40 essence pull with a head of hair. That's about it. Oh, no, misprint. I kind of like that. It's quite funny um ed's got himself a 20 essence craft right here who did he get pavlovich who's decent good scorer 20 essence times two for de bruyne and joe gomez i mean that's pretty solid if you ask me de bruyne's insane for 20 essence but this is what i mean essence seems cracked essence seems absolutely cracked just a few more essence crafts to look at here we've got himself a 40 essence tier four looking like varit skellia 
very nice indeed. It's nice to see all these pools. I'm not saying that every person that crafts Essence right now is going to get an amazing card. That's not what I'm saying, and most of you know I'm not saying that. Um, you might craft your Essence right now and get something terrible. I'll be honest with you. It's the complete look of the draw. I just think at the moment, it seems like the odds are way better for lower tier Essence crafts than for higher tier Essence crafts, if that makes sense. So like with the Euros and the Copper Pools being way juicier than the regular season pools, it just feels like at the moment, Essence seems better to craft a lower stage, if that makes sense. Well, if any of you guys do choose to craft your cards via Essence, let me know down below in the comments what you guys get. I'm intrigued. Um, I only have three limited Essence. Sorry, I was looking at some uh, matchups. I only have three limited Essence, but when I can finally get enough boxes from rivals to craft a card with Essence, that's a limited card, I'll give it away to whoever. Like, I'll, I'll just give it away. So we'll see what we get when we eventually get 20 Essence there. But thank you all for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.